And that's where we get to this model of innovation types and the category maturity life cycle. So this is the model that reaches all the way back to 1991 and crossing the chasm. And in this particular context, what became necessary to do is to say, look, the technology adoption life cycle has lots of very interesting ramifications, but they're all applied to growth markets. And once the market or the category begins to mature, they no longer apply. So, so all the stuff that happens in zone A has been pretty thoroughly discussed in crossing chasm and inside the tornado and gorilla game and all that kind of stuff. As we move forward in the market, there are these other stages. B turns out to be a great stage. By the way, if you want to get employed and want to have a terrific resume, join companies as they're going from A to B and take credit for the categorical rise of the company during the B phase. Because every company succeeds during the B phase of a category that you can have on your resume. I took my company from $50 million to $200. The fact that it was floating on a rising tide, you know, no, 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 it was my work that did that, okay? <laughs> So, 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 so that's B, okay? It's a great time to be in a company. C is the challenging one, particularly for this valley. Now, in a lot of industries, people have dealt with C for a long time, but the tech sector has not. The reason, one of the reasons this book is being written now and not 10 years ago or 10 years from now is that the sector has gone through some kind of inflection point. And as a sector, we are, if you're looking at the growth rates of the sector, if you're kind of looking at, at the, just the, the investment properties of the sector, there's this, been this sort of shift. And all of a sudden, we're feeling a little bit more middle-aged than we ever have in the past. That indefinitely elastic middle, which is a, a middle-aged property, it, it, it is, it's the idea behind that is we are now in a stage of the market where it can go on indefinitely. And will go on until some technology of the future creates enough action in A that C gets pushed into D. So if you look, for example, right now what the open source Linux community is doing to Solaris. Solaris was in C indefinitely. NT tried to push Solaris out, couldn't do it. But NT plus Linux is now pushing Solaris into D. And if you can go further, if the technology goes into the tornado and really takes off, you can get into E. And that's what's happened to Kodak. Right? Kodak and Kodak Digital Photography has now forced film into E, and the corporation has had to radically reshift its agenda, you know, very painfully, uh, uh, to, to reinvent itself around digital photography with easy share and buying O Photo and, and, and becoming a camera company again, whereas for uh, the last 80 years they've been a film company. Okay? So, huge, huge disruption.